Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our Lord and Savior. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. Peace and grace be multiplied to the elect, which is the house of David, the men, women, and children that are chosen to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. All right, so I just want to get into a quick uh, topic, something um, you know, I just was meditating on once again, um, on the topic of uh, let no man take your crown, okay? And um, basically, you know, brothers, we got we to gotta understand that <clears throat> we, we are in this thing, you know, for salvation, okay? We are in this thing for, you know, the glor glorifying Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and being delivered, you know, from the coming destruction, okay? And at the end of the day, it's all about your walk, all right? It's all about how you are, you know, when it comes to doing the will of the Heavenly Father to the best of your ability, okay? And we can't let anything uh, sway us from doing that to the best of our ability, all right? Not, you can't let any man, all right, or, or any woman, all right? You know what this is about. You know what the goal is. You know what, you know, ultimately, you know, what we're, what we're fighting for. So don't let no man take that, take that from you if you sincerely want it, okay? Now, if you don't really, if you don't sincerely want it, if you don't um, really believe in it, then you're going to let, you're going to let that, that crown, you know, that you, that you at one point in time was fighting for, you're going to let that crown escape you. All right, but if you are sincerely, wholeheartedly, day in and day out, put giving this your all, you know, don't take take the words of Yahweh Shai uh, very uh, with with much weight, man, and don't let no man take your crown. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with that Revelation chapter three, verse eleven. <clears throat> it says, "Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast, uh, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown." Okay, so. The Lord, and, and we understand, man, the Lord is coming quickly, man. You see, we seeing these things, you know, all these prophecies are coming forth. You know, if you, if you watching, if you paying attention, you seeing all, uh, uh, all the, all the turmoil in the world, you seeing the, uh, the mark of the beast infrastructure being formulated. Okay. You seeing the uprising of the people, the earthquakes in diverse places, you know, the, the, the world war three, okay. Being brewed up in the middle East. So we're seeing all these, all these, uh, prophecies, uh, formulating and, it's happening, you know, swiftly, man. So the Lord is telling the truth when he said he's coming quickly, all right? He said to hold, hold that fast which thou hast. What do you have, man? Your faith, okay? You got to hold your faith fast. You got to hold the, the word, all right? The word that, you, that you've been taught that gave you the faith, okay? Because scripture says that faith comes by hearing of the word, all right? You got to hold that fast. And, and those two things, you know, your faith and your works, and this doctrine, those three things are the pillars in order for you to gain that crown, all right? So that no man takes that crown. So you can't let nothing, uh, uh, you know, come between you and, and 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 the hopes of getting that crown. Okay. So this is um, this is Second uh, Timothy, chapter two. I'm gonna start at verse uh, five. It says, I'm gonna start at four. It says, I'm gonna start at three. It says, "Thou, thou, therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier, soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach." Now, right there, man, is letting us know that we're going to go through hardships, man. We're going to go through times, you know, that you that you had no clue that was going to happen, man. The Lord is, is, is Scripture says that, man, that the trial, the trial of your faith, you know, it worketh patience. Okay, and that's the thing that we gotta we gotta uh, exhibit, man. The times where we're going through uh, situations. Where we see, where it might seem to us that it's, uh, it's uh, you know, uh, uh, things that are unnatural or things that, you know, we we have no clue on how to deal with. That's when you got to be patient, man. Because the Lord said that even though he's going to bring, even though you're going to go through temptation, he's also going to give you a way to escape out of it. All right. Meaning what? So that way for you to keep your crown. All right. Because what? The Lord is building up kings, man. And, and, a, and a king wears a crown. And that crown does not come off of that king's head. Now I'm talking, you know, uh, 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 physically, but this is spiritual crown. We are we gotta always uphold ourselves as being uh, uh, kings, man. All right, no matter shalak, no matter what you're going through. That's why the scripture says, "Endure hardness as a good soldier," because those soldiers of Yahweh Shai are really kings. 
All right, because Yahweh Shai, he's called the King of Kings, man. And the Lord said that what he's going to raise us, he's going to uh, raise up, you know, us basically to be kings to reign on earth. All right, so we got to endure the hardness, man. All right, a good king is able to endure the 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 difficulties that he's going through, man. The the lion, all right, the uh, you know, the backbiting, everything that you know uh, uh, people are saying against you. Okay, you got to endure that. Yahweh Shai endured it, man. All right, and Yahweh Yahweh Shai endured it, suffered patiently, and that's another thing that we got to do, man. Suffer patiently, be long suffering. Okay. That's another attribute of a king, being long-suffering. Let no man take your crown. These characteristics you got to have in order so in order for you to endure to the end, man. All right? So it says, verse 4, No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please, that, that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. Okay? So no man that warreth is going to entangle himself with the with the affairs of this life, the things that are going on in this world are not going to uh, uh, disenchant you, man. Are not going to sway you from you know getting your crown being removed. All right, you're not going to entangle. When you get entangled with something, you get caught up, you get entrapped. All right, and that's what this devil is trying to do. He's trying to entrap brothers, you know. And I'm talking about spiritual demons, Satan. All right, so I should say Satan's trying to do. He's trying to entrap brothers with with many many fold temptations, man. Okay. But what we gotta we gotta be uh uh we're not on that one track mind. We gotta be going through that straight and narrow path so that anything that comes our way, we're able to detangle ourselves from that and ultimately from the affairs of this world. Okay? And that's why I say don't let women also entrap you too, because women scripture talks about are snares and their traps, man. Snares and traps and, and bands. All right. At the end of the day, if you a man in this truth, you are a you are a top man. Okay, and there's no, if you're a man in the truth, you're an Israelite man, <laughs> there's nothing that's above you but, uh, that's on this world. Okay, only thing that's above you are Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai. All right? So nothing that's beneath you should be able to entrap you, should be able to take that crown away from you. Okay? So it says, uh, verse 5, if any in Shalak, and if a man also strive for masteries, yet he is not crowned except he strive lawfully. And that's the key, man. All right, we're striving for masteries. We're striving for the things that pertaineth unto heaven. Okay, we're, we're striving to be the, the the those 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 top men with Yahweh Shai. Okay, and it says yet he is not crowned except he except he strives lawfully, and that's what it is, man. Okay, you you being is true, but you, if you're not moving according to the laws, if you're not moving according to the guidelines that is set up, the scripture says, "Boy, you follow my commandments. This is life, man. All right, this is life." All right, all the all those that take hold of it shall come to life. Okay, so you got to strive lawfully in all matters, in all matters of dealings, man. Okay, not just being a hearer of the word, but actually doing it when actually applying it when it's necessary to apply, man. Okay, and that and that goes with judgment. That goes with being balanced. That goes with you know keeping the laws to the best of your ability. All right, that goes with how you conduct yourself amongst brothers. All right. You got to you it you got to be an example, all right? Until until how to until the how to wear that crown, man. All right? You we 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 have to we have to prove ourselves that we're worthy to wear this crown. All right? Not just saying oh, I'm an Israelite and I go out on the on the corners and teach. No. This is an everyday thing. This crown that you're wearing, a king is a king 24/7, man. All right. He's not just a king when he's sitting up on the throne and people are looking at him. He's a king when he's when he goes back into his chambers. He's a king when he's dealing in his house. All right. His 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 kingdom, his kingship does not does not stop. And that's what we got to understand, because when we we are, are setting up to be kings and therefore a king has to rule by the law. And he also has to do what he has to rule or he has to rule with the law, man. That's why it says that he is not crowned except he strive lawfully. All right. So I'm going to jump. This is uh first uh second Timothy 4 verse 8. It says, I'm going to start at 7. I have fought a good fight. I have kept I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, and, and, and that's what we got to do. We have to keep fighting and we have to uh uh stay the course, all right? And you go into that word course is business. Finish my business cuz I this the business the how Yahweh said the meat our meat is to do the will of the Heavenly Father, man. 
All right, that's our meat. That's our course. That's our business. And that's why the scriptures also says be fervent in business, man. When you're doing this will, when you're doing the, the will of the Lord, you got to fervently, uh, uh, zealously do it, man. You can't half-ass it. You can't just do it when you want to do it. And you can't just do it when, uh, just so you can put on a show for people, man. The Lord knows that the thoughts and intents of your mind, man. He knows how, how you really are, are moving, man. He knows what you really are about, okay? That's why he says, man, and many in that day shall say unto me, Lord, Lord, and I shall say, I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. It don't matter how powerful of a speaker you are. Don't matter how many scriptures you know. Don't matter, you know, how many people like you. If you are a worker of iniquity, when the Lord looks at your looks at your heart, when he when he checks to see what's really in your mind, or how you really thinking, all right. And if you can, if you found if you're found to be uh, uh, undisciplined, if you're found to be you know a, a deceitful worker, the Lord going to cash you out, man. All right. And, and that crown is going to be snatched because guess what? You wasn't holding fast to things that that are beneficial. You wasn't holding fast that as the scripture says, man, the things that the things that thou has, man. OK, so it says I have fought the good fight. I have kept the faith. All right. And that's important too, keeping the faith in a time of, of a faithless generation in a time where people and everything is seen is believing. OK, when everything is coming up against you, we got to keep the faith because once what like I said in the beginning, this ultimately is for the glorification and magnifying the word of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. That's our duty. That's the whole duty of man. That's why we're on this on this earth, man, so that the Lord can be glorified through us. All right. So it says, henceforth is uh, verse eight. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me in that day. And no man, and shall like, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Okay, and that's right, man. The Lord is going to give us those crowns, all right? A crown of righteousness. Because we strove, we strive lawfully for that, for that righteousness, man. Okay? It says that he, the Lord, is going to give it to us. And now where is that account? Because I just seen this happen, man. In the vision. As you're seeing the Lord giving us, giving us the elect, those crowns, all right? Second Ezra chapter 2, verse, uh, I'm going to start at verse 44. It says, and I asked, uh, Shalak, verse, 40, verse 43, it says, and in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, that's Yahweh Shai, all right? Taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted which I marveled at greatly. That's right, man. So yeah, the Lord is actually going to bestow crowns upon those men, those 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 elect hands. I mean, those elect heads, man. All right. Now we're striving, you know, for our crown not to be taken. Is this crown, man? This crown of life. This crown of everlasting. All right. This crown of 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 being a king to reign on the earth with Yahweh Shad. That's what we're striving for. All right. But it starts with how you conduct yourself now, man. All right, you can look at this as sort of, sort of as, a, as a trial run, so to speak, you know? Hey, that's why the scripture talk calls it a trial, the trial of your faith, to see how see how worthy you really are of wearing this crown. All right, you talk about being a king, you talk about this and that, but when it comes to being a king, when it comes to uh, uh, being balanced, all right, judging and mercy, what did Yahweh Shah say? That the weightier matters of the, of the scriptures is what? The law, justice, and mercy, man, judgment and mercy. Those go hand in hand, judgment and mercy. The, isn't the Lord coming with mercy and judgment? All right. Brothers got to always meditate on how to be balanced, man. Because the Lord, scripture says that a false balance is an abomination unto the Lord. So if you are falsely balanced, guess what? You're an abomination, man. Don't matter how many scriptures you know. Don't matter if you call yourself an Israelite. If you're false balanced in this thing, you are an abomination. Okay. It says, verse uh, 40, uh, 44. So I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on immort and put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of the Most High. Now are they crowned and receive palms. All right, and those palms represents peace, man. Because once we get into our kingdom, our kingdom is going to be a kingdom of peace. All right, just like how with Solomon, his his name is means peace, and when he was reigning, which is Yahweh Shai, he had a peaceful kingdom. Yahweh Shai, one of his titles is called the Prince of Peace. So when we get into our kingdom, our kingdom is going to be a peaceful kingdom, okay? Because we're going to exact true and righteous judgment, and we're going to be crowned, man. So I'm going to jump. Verse 47. Um, I'm going to, I keep going. Verse 46. And he said unto the angel, what young person is that that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? 
So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, 